All right, hello, and God bless each and every one of you, man. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. <laughs> We're looking forward, you guys, to getting out of this place. And it's a lot closer than uh, everybody knows. A whole lot closer. And, uh, man, we're looking forward to it. I'm actually seeing some people moving over there across the street. Not moving in or anything, but actually people, they're doing something. And, uh, getting ready to do that trip, man. I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Uh, be a good little drive, you know, going down. And, uh, surprised to see anybody over there, even, you know, because it may have been not doing much. The way I know everything, what's happening, man, you ain't gonna be able to buy material here pretty soon if you don't. You know, I don't think there's many, much time at all. You know, another thing, you guys, is, uh, when we get ready to leave this place, um, when the Lord takes those, he's going to take. See, things have been escalating big time in Israel from January. I mean, the violence, the rage, people being mad, angry. Um, when he takes those that are going to be leaving, that's going to be confirmation to them. That the Lord has removed people from the earth, from this place. And uh, I was listening to a testimony where, you know, uh, a lady, she was orthodox, the guy that's so be it. And he was like, can I pray for you, you know? And she goes, can I pray for you? And he goes, yes, by all means. And, you know, while she was praying, she was like praying that he has a, a joyful and a happy life here, that he enjoys this life here that he's living. And, uh, you know, we know in scriptures, man, where it says... When you know the truth, what this place is, that everybody's been deceived, you're not going to like it here. You know, that's why it says, love not this world or the things that are in it. You know, uh, just a soldier to get through it. You know, don't be conformed to it. But uh, he prayed, he said a really nice prayer for her, you know, that she will come to know the truth and uh, be set free. She had something that happened to her many years ago, you know, and she's thinking, you know, she just, she feels that just trying to be a good person and he's not telling her, he's going, nobody's that good. We can't be, you know, this, the where people want to be sacrificing, they took the sacrificing away because people were constantly sacrificing because of the sins and they're not sacrificing today and uh, we can't be that good. That's why Christ came. He is the Messiah. He came uh, uh, make an atonement for us, you know, th that we could go. And then if we abide in him, he puts the law in our hearts and we do live better, but we got to follow him. And we can't, um, you know, be trying to do things our way. It doesn't work. And, and she had resentment with somebody else from the past uh, that something that happened to her when she was young in a nightclub there in Israel. You know, um, somebody did something bad to her. And she said she just couldn't forgive him. But she's going to be trying to be a nice person. And he's trying to tell her, well, God forgives anybody if they find him. You know, if they seek him and they repent. God will forgive them, even murderers, even for rape, any of this. You know, all sin can be forgiven. And uh, she goes, well, I can't forgive. I can't forgive. You know, and we're supposed to be striving. And he's telling her, you know, we ought to be striving holiness to be as God is, you know. And if God forgives us our sins, we need to forgive others, you know. And, uh, yeah, and that's where one thing she's holding on to, like, I can't forgive. Well, how can we expect God to forgive us if we won't forgive them? 
And then another thing, even though we forgive them, it's better for us that we could get through this life without that anger and hatred. That's why God wants us to let it go. And another thing, if they don't repent, which, you know, chances are people that are living that way, that could actually do something like that horrific, um, you know, chances are they may not ever do that. They only get worse, you know, because once you get to a level like that and you do something like that, um, you know, you know, but there has been known murderers that have repented for their sins and found the Lord, you know, but uh, only God knows, you know, but we're supposed to be striving that because he doesn't want us to hang on to that because when you're hanging on to that, you're hanging on to other things. That's not the spirit of God. It's a different spirit. When you have anger, hatred, rage, you know, you got to let those things go. Those are the things that the enemy uses. <clears throat> Anyhow, you guys, we'll be staying in touch, man, on the trip tomorrow, and uh, I'll be doing videos while we're there. I'll have internet, and, you know, God bless you guys. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.